Okay, so let's look at installing DNS and DHCP. Now, in this video, I'm not going to configure either of them. I'm just going to walk through installing real quick the ISC DHCP server and Bind9. We'll deal with uh, configuring them in a separate video. So we'll start with the installation, then we'll change our IP address to an isolated network. And then that'll give us the ability to play with DNS and DHCP without screwing up anything else on our network. So let's start with the install. So it's, let me get to the right screen here, sudo apt, and we're going to install. And our DHCP server is going to be isc dash DHCP dash server, if I can type today. All right, yes, we want to go ahead and continue. Now, because I'm going to take this to an isolated network, I'm going to go ahead and install the DNS server as well while we're at it. So that's going to be sudo install, and our DNS server is going to be, whoops, apt install. That's going to work better. Is bind9, which is the Berkeley Internet uh, name daemon. And yes, we want to install that one as well. All right, so that gives us the uh, dev or the software that we need. So next thing we're going to do is we are going to edit our net plan, and I'm going to move this. this is currently on my local network, and I'm pulling a DHCP address from my local network. So I'm going to turn that off, and then uh, my recommendation, if you're following along, is go ahead and turn that off because you can't run DHCP if you're running. Um, if you don't have a statically assigned DH, or a statically assigned IP address. So do that and then I'm going to suggest disconnect this thing from the network in some way or another so that your DHCP and DNS servers don't uh, disrupt your regular DNS and DHCP servers on your network. So we're going to start by editing our ETC net plan 50-cloud-init.yaml file. And then I'm going to change this to DHCP is false. And space over, remember you don't want to use tabs when you're doing this. Addresses, colon, and I'm going to do 192.168.1. And let's do this at 50 just for the fun of it. Slash 24. Close off our square brackets. Space back over. Set gateway 4. Now this actually isn't going anywhere, but I'm going to go ahead and set it anyway. 192.168.1. Oh, let's do 254. And then name servers and then space over an indent under that I'm going to do addresses and I'm going to use my address 192.168.1.50 okay so that gives me my new net plan control O to write out and I forgot to sudo the silly thing which means I'm going to have to redo this with sudo. So I'm going to go ahead and exit. Nope, don't want to save changes. And then that's the command that I wanted to sudo. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video while I rewrite this and I'm going to pick it up again uh, when I'm ready to save it. Okay, so we have our configuration back and this time I should have sudo the silly thing. So I'm going to do control O to write out, make sure I get back to the right thing, control O to write out, and then control X to exit. And then sudo net plan apply, and we'll see if we got it right. Okay, that looks right. Show, and I'm doing the Cisco one, IP address show, and we have 192.168.1.50. All right, so we have our net plan. Now, the next thing we're going to do, now that we've got the IP address, the next thing that we're going to do is disconnect this from the network. And then in the next video, we're going to walk through an installation or a configuration of DHCP.